Hi, I am Subhan and today I am going to tell you about the Big Bang Theory. As we all know that the universe which we see around us came into being by the explosion known as the Big Bang Explosion. There are the many theories which describes how the universe came into being and the most valuable theory is known as the Big Bang Theory and this theory is described that the universe came into being by the singularity. Singularity, if I am talking about the word singularity, which means that they very dense and it means there is a very density. Okay, so we can say that the singularity at the center of the mass is known as its singularity. So the universe came into being by the singularity of the Big Bang. If I am saying that the universe which we see around us came into being by the explosion. This was a very great explosion and it occurs in the every part of the universe. It includes everything. So Big Bang was the very big explosion which occurred in every part of the universe. And do you know what was the size of the singularity before the Big Bang? This was smaller than an atom. The atom is very small size of the atom. Okay. So the whole singularity of the universe was lies in the smallest quantities you know as the atom and before the universe. So when the Big Bang happened, the great acceleration of the universe took place. The universe begins to expand at the rate of very high velocity. It was equal to the it was more than the speed of light. As we all know that the speed of light is about 3 lakhs kilometers per second and just thought about the universe expanding. When the universe came into being by the explosion of the Big Bang, it begins to accelerate at the velocity greater than the speed of light. And the universe was happening in the time duration known as the Planck time. The Planck time is 10 to the power minus 43 seconds and this is the smallest unit of measuring the time it is the smallest quantity okay this include the 43 zeros after the one and this is the very big and this is the very smallest quantity of measuring the time so this is known as the Planck scale and the Planck time the universe took place in this time when the big bang was happened the big bang after the temperature of the big bang the temperature was very hot because the energy was there before the Big Bang and after the Big Bang it converted into the mass. The mass distributed in every part of the universe. So there are the many theories. So these theories describe the existence of the universe by the Big Bang explosion. And there are the many theories which says that the universe will end and how the universe could be end. On the other hand, some theories say that the universe will never end. So Today in this video I will tell you about whole things about that, okay? So, so these theories are the Big Crunch Theory, Big Rip Theory and the Big Freeze Theories. I will talk to you about these theories in some time later, okay? And first of all we should have to understand the full concept of the Big Bang. So the Big Bang took place of about 13.8 billion years ago. This was a very old time and all the things which we see around us formed after the Big Bang. The first atom formed after the Big Bang was the hydrogen and then the helium, oxygen, nitrogen and any other element formed. So the hydrogen was the first element formed after the Big Bang. The first second after the Big Bang causes the formation of the atoms, causes the formations of the many things, many atoms that include the hydrogen and helium. So after the three minutes of the Big Bang, the universe came into the mass. The energy which was before the Big Bang converted into the mass and it was distributed in many heavenly bodies, which are the stars, planets. So the whole theory of the universe came into being by the Big Bang. So Big Bang was the creation of matter, was the creation of time. And today I will also tell you about the Big Bang. And what was before the Big Bang? This, also, this is also very important question that what was before the Big Bang when we say that the universe was very hot at the temperature. The temperature was very and very great temperature. This was the hottest temperature ever recorded in the Big Bang. 
so what was before the big bang this is the simple question and very important question on the field of cosmology and the answer are the very they are the various answers are possible at this condition because we don't know we were not actually at that place when the big bang took place so we have the many theories and according to these theories we describes that the how the universe came into being by the big bang and what was before the big bang so today i will tell you about the theory which describes that how the universe came before the universe before the big bang today the main question is that what was before the big bang so my first theory is the pulsating theory of the universe the pulsating theories of the universe describes that the universe is like a cycle you can see it there this is the cycle of the pulsating theory according to this theory the universe be become from the singularity and it's continuously expanding and we are in the expanding time and after a particular period of time the universe will stop expanding and then it will contract and it will causes the new big bang explosion according to this theory the universe is like a cycle you can see it okay so the universe was the cycle you can say the universe is a cycle and it will expand and it will then it will contract so this is the pulsating theory so this theory describes that the universe came into being by the explosion and it will end by the explosion and the main theories we describe that what was before the big bang and there are the many theories first theory i have also explained you the pulsating theory and the second theory says that the universe was nothing it means that before the big bang there was nothing this is this theory is known as the quantum fluctuation could quantum fluctuation create the universe this theory was given by the very great scientist of the history of the world the stephen hawking which described the existence of the universe by nothing it means that there was nothing before the universe before the big bang explosion then the question is that how the universe came from nothing i don't believe in the quantum fluctuations i have the many theories of mine too but today i will not discuss you of my theories i will also discuss you only the theories which is predicted by the scientists okay so the stephen hawking says that the universe was originated from nothing if there was nothing before the big bang it means that there was no energy and if we focus on the thermodynamics we could see that the the, the first equation the first law of the thermodynamics is that the universe contains the billions of stars as we all know the universe is very big and if the stephen hawking is saying that the universe started from nothing it means that there was no energy and if we are focusing on the thermodynamics law which describes that the energy neither be created nor be destroyed it means that energy was forever we can't destroy the energy and we can't create the energy and this is the truth but if we are talking about the quantum fluctuation it means that the energy was also created after the big bang so this theory i don't believe in this theory it it depends upon you it, that you believe or not so the another theories are also there so this was the history of our universe by the big bang explosion okay and i have also told you that i will also discuss about the theories which describes how the universe could be end so let's start with these theories too the first theory is big crunch theory the big crunch theory is similar to the pulsating theory theory of the universe which describes the universe will expand for a particular time and then it will stop the expanding and then then the contraction will take place so according to this theory the universe is like a cycle and this is similar to the pulsating theory of the universe okay for example if i have a rocket you can see here and the rocket goes in the sky and when the fuel will vanish the rocket will what will happen to the rocket the rocket will pull down by the gravity and it will came into the earth similar the energy which was created from the big bang i mean to say the pressure of the energy which created from the big bang this contains the acceleration of the universe 
and when the power of the big bang will finish the universe will start expanding and there will nothing to oppose the force of the big bang and it will be contract okay so this is the crunch theory of the universe popularly known as the big crunch theory and the second theory is the big grip theory this is the very complicated theory for some people but this is very interesting theory this theory says that the universe was originated from the big bang and after the big bang the universe starts to expanding it's accelerate for the very long time and it will never stop the expanding it will it will forever okay it will expand forever this theory describes these things so according to this theory the universe will never end stopping so a time will come when the universe will expand too much and the atoms of a body will also start to expand also start to break up and atom contains the electrons protons and the neutrons will also break into the three subatomic particles okay so it means that the atom will start to break at the higher acceleration of the universe it means that there will nothing the universe will expand too much it will also disturb the whole functioning of the universe and it will cause a very big explosion because when the atom will lose their energy and it, they will be separated from each other they will also cause the very big explosion so according to this theory the universe will never stop expanding so this is known as the big rip theory which says the universe will expand forever so the last theory is that the big freeze theory as we all know the temperature when the big bang happened was very hotter and this is the hottest temperature ever recorded in the history of our world in the history of the universe this was the big bang explosion temperature this was the very greater temperature at that time and when the universe start to expand the time goes and the universe started to cool down as we know look at the microwave background of the universe so what are you looking there there are the different parts you can say so the red part which you are seeing here is the temperature of the universe the red part denotes the hotter and the hotter temperature and the blue part you can see there this part is the coldest place of the universe so when we are seeing about the about the microwave background of the universe we are seeing that there are the two different types of temperature and one is the hotter and second is the colder so according to the time, according to the Big Bang, the universe is expanding at a very great rate. So when the universe will, will expand, it will cool and the time will came, the time will come at that time, the universe will be freeze because there was no hotter thing. All the things will going to be freeze and the universe will freeze and that time there was nothing, there will nothing and so the universe will be and for this theory also so in this video i explain you about the theories which describes the existence of the universe and how the universe came into being and there i have also told you about the theories which describes how the universe will be and so we will meet in the next video and we will talk about the other theories of the universe i will talk to you about the cosmology and the many other things of the universe. So we will meet in next video. We will also related to the many concepts.